Hello and welcome to my new course over here and from today we will be starting on X++ language programming and on a previous course what we have done is we have already have a basic understanding of dynamic AX development with our Morphe X and where we did a development and we created all of the elements like tables, forms and reports but from today what we'll be learning is we'll be learning on an X++ programming so what each and X++ or X++ each an object oriented language with similarities with C sharp or Java so it is an object oriented language or it's which what we also call as an oops with the similarities with Java and C sharp if we have some basic understanding with C sharp and Java then it would be quite easier for you to get started and X++ is a part of Morphe X development platform that you can use to construct the accounting and business management system. So basically X++ is used for accounting or a business management system for a development. And the memory management model in X++ is very simple and objects are created with a new operator and there are no explicit programmer defined pointer data type and there is a no pointer arithmetic so which means that the memory management is all done through automatic and we don't have to take any headache of a memory management like in c if you want to do a memory management you have to use a pointer which is a very very headache and it's a have to use a lot of uh, pointer arithmetic and that cause a programmer or a developer with a very big problem and but in x++ like c sharp for java the memory management is very simple and it is managed automatically an x++ programmer can access a relational tables in microsoft dynamic ax and x++ include a keyword that matches most of the keyword in s standard sql so which means from x++ we can directly manipulate the data in our database so we can write select statement update delete insert so these are the direct SQL that we can write from X++ and manipulate our database like SQL database X++ code is checked for syntax error during a compile time so when in that we don't have to worry that when uh, we have a runtime then we'll have some error before we run our code there is a compilation and during this compilation all of our syntax error are checked and the compile process also perform best practice check and if you want to perform a best practice check we can always on that feature to do a best practice check when we do a compilation and violation of a best practice can generate a compiler message so we have already seen how to do a best practice check on our table or elements but here in x++ code also we can do a best practice check the run x++ runtime execution engine have an automatic mechanism to discard object that are no longer referred which means that so that there is a memory space can be reused so as i as we have already discussed that the memory management is automatically done so which means that we, whichever object that are no longer ha, no longer have any reference then that can be discarded and the memory this memory use can be again reused for another objects and dynamic Microsoft Dynamic AX supports interoperability between classes written in X++ and in C Sharp or other .NET framework. So which means that when we write classes in X++ and that classes can be called from C Sharp or other .NET framework language. And similarly, if we write some classes in if you write some logic or if you write some classes in C sharp and other .NET framework, we can also call that uh, logic from our uh, X++ site or from our dynamic AX. So I hope you guys have some basic understanding that about the X++ language and we will discuss more on our coming lesson. 
and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day